the Berlant Concertone 2020. Bert Berlant, much like John Mullen with Ampex, was in the U.S. Army Signal Corps. When he left the military, in 1946 he formed Berlant & Associates. I've been very impressed with the Berlant Professional Reel Tape Recorders. and went to work with Stevens TrueSonic, which was the manufacturer of microphones and loudspeakers. Berlant later went to work for Hewlett Packard, but Berlant & Associates continued and they kept building the Concertone units. It was great to receive the information on Berlant Concertone TX from Jerry Norton. He'd worked for the company and wrote me up to date on a lot of the details. He goes on to say that whatever remains of the company today is perhaps better known as TA, who interestingly continued making the old Concertone at least through the late season. This was a magnificent engineered machine. Runs 10 and a half inch reels, plays at 7 and a half, 15 inches per second. These had very interesting color coordination. And you have control over the speed at which you drop the wind. You can bring it down quickly, which the unit will bring to a good point. As I mentioned, we try to maintain documentation. We do have the operator. The Concertone 505 and the TAC version were three motor units. They had mic and line in mixing the film, input. Send Me No Flowers. This starred Rock Hudson, Doris Day, and Tony quarters. Randall. But it also had a 15 IPS adapter with a cap stand and pinch roller. Its wind and rewind was like the big machine.